Hello, hello everyone. Welcome to Core Learning and Knowledge, your resource for the best fully downloadable online lessons. Today we have a really fun spreadsheet to go on. I know a lot of people out there are probably saying, spreadsheets, that can't be fun. But what we're going to do to learn spreadsheets today is we're going to do a stock market game slash simulation. So all of you students are going to have $10,000 to buy and sell real stocks at relatively real prices. Um, and you'll be able to hopefully make money off of all of your stock transit. Uh, transactions so that um, you can increase your net worth and we'll talk about that in a little bit but we're going to use uh, spreadsheets to keep track of all of this today okay to begin today we are going to do our do now I have two questions for you once you, I've read the questions you can go ahead and pause and answer them either in a Google Doc or you can write them down number one how can we keep track of large amounts of numbers as companies are huge multinational they have tens of thousands of employees make millions if not billions of dollars how do they keep track of all of that how do they keep track of their employees all over the world how much money each one's making how much money they're selling all their products for all around the world that's just vast amounts of numbers millions and millions of different numbers and they all matter um, number two how can we use computers to do calculations? Obviously, if I have these millions of numbers, I want to be able to do these calculations on a computer. I don't want to have to add 2 plus 2 every single time, right? Or even do bigger numbers and um, have to do all that work myself. So how can I use a computer to do that for me? So go ahead and pause the video, answer these in either a Google Doc or on a piece of paper. All right, as we begin our lesson today, we have two objectives. One, we are going to analyze all the information available to buy and sell stocks. I'm going to give you guys what's called a prospectus. So we have 10 companies, and I have basic information about each of the 10 companies so you can make informed decisions as to what you're going to buy and sell. You're going to know most of these companies, if not all of them, from your everyday, so you'll have experience with them, and hopefully that information will um, play into what you're buying and selling. We're also going to have new information, new news that comes up every round, and you'll be able to use that information to buy and sell. So you have a lot of different information coming out at you you have to be able to analyze it so break it down what's good what's bad what do you think the trends are what do you think is going on okay it's a big objective but it's gonna be fun today as we're doing it number two we're gonna use the provided uh, spreadsheet to buy and sell stocks so we're going to be using um, a Google sheet or Excel spreadsheet um, either one works today it's just basically a whole set of numbers as we're going along and keep track of everything in little cells I'll show you guys all that in just a minute. We're going to buy and sell our stocks in there, um, and then we're also going to use it to keep track of our net worth. Now, our net worth is a big fancy term there that we use in the financial um, business as just saying, how much are you worth total? So if I own a car, a house, and have money in the bank account, if I add together how much all that stuff is worth, then that's how much money I am worth. Even though I don't have as much money in my bank account as I have in my house, at any point I could sell my house and then get that as cash. So at any point today you could sell all of your stocks, take that as your net worth, and then have a lot of money on hand. So hopefully you make money. Maybe you'll lose money today though. That's kind of the fun of the game. So let's go ahead and get introdu introduced to our spreadsheet. So we have the amount of stocks that are available, the cash um, available, which is going to be $10,000. We're going to go over how to buy, how to sell, and then our net worth calculator, which is the big number that we want to say goes up. So I'm going to go ahead and switch over to our spreadsheet here. So I have year one of our spreadsheet. Year one, I have all the prices indicated right here. They're already preloaded for you. After every year after this, you're going to have to write them down from the board. I don't want to tell you what the price is going to be in year four. It's blank because then you'll be able to cheat and look into the future. Okay, so I have all the stock prices right here. Okay, so let's go through here and say Kroger. Hmm. I shop at a Kroger store. Our local Kroger here is um, called King Supers. Um, but I've shopped at Kroger pretty much my whole life. So I'm going to say I really like them. So I'm going to buy eight of them. Okay, so I buy eight. Notice my sell category right here is all grayed out because the first year I don't have anything to sell. I'm only buying. Okay, so I bought eight of them. They are $40 a piece, so that transaction cost me $320. Again, we talked about at the beginning in our do now that we have a lot of numbers that we're going to be playing with. How do I keep track of all of this? Well, this little box here, my cell, which is E4, 
okay kind of like battleship e4 has my formulas right up here okay so basically what it's saying is my negative of how much is in b4 which is my sell or is my buy sorry so how much am i buying that's going to be a negative number because it's taking away numbers times the stock price which is my c4 this is also going to allow me to sell in the future so I could enter a number here in the cell and um, I would get m positive number here whereas this is a negative so it says this number times this number equals that number okay so as I'm going along that's what's going on okay and I'm gonna undo my cell stuff okay so it's gonna cost me negative three hundred twenty dollars again I have ten thousand dollars to start with up here is always how much money you're starting with and then down here it says how much is cash available so I started with ten thousand I spent three hundred and twenty dollars so that gives me nine thousand six hundred and eighty dollars left I also have all of my stocks owned right over here okay so of my Kroger now I own eight because I just bought eight but maybe next round I sell three this would then become five again this is a formula of how much I have going on here um, in the future you'll see all these numbers change and it keeps track of it all for me so the only thing you need to be ever changing is just these two columns right here how much are you buying how much are you selling so I'm gonna go down the list here and I'm gonna buy some more I obviously am a technology teacher so I really like this um, technology stocks here so I like Google use it every day I really love it. It's expensive stock, so I'm going to buy a lot of it just because I love it. Tesla, oh man, I would love to own a Tesla car in the future. Electric car company is so cool. Apple, I use Apple products. I have my iPhone, so I'm going to buy some of that. Walmart, I don't like shopping at Walmart, so I'm going to ha I'm just going to leave that blank. Sony, pretty cool company. They make some good computers, have some good movies, stuff like that. And then I have McDonald's. I, you know, I occasionally will stop by McDonald's, so I'll get some there. PepsiCo, I'm a fan of Coke. Don't like, don't like it so much. Uh, Free delays, there are things they don't. Um, uh, ooh, Ford, really cheap. I'm gonna buy. Let's just say I'm gonna buy 20 of those because it's so cheap, right? 20 of Ford is less than even one of Google. It's the way the stock market works. Target, I do shop at Target, so I'm gonna buy 10 of them because it's kind of a value too. Now, I've spent. $7,300 roughly, and I have about $2,600 left over. I don't want to spend all of my money in the first year, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And you can see all of my stocks owned here. A couple of them I did not buy, my Walmart and my Pepsi. So hopefully Walmart and Pepsi go down so other people lose their money and I make money on mine. So I'm going to move on then from year one. You'll know when the uh, round is over because I will announce it. Once year one goes past, we cannot go past this. Okay, This is a big thing. If you go back... In time, it's a thousand dollar fine. You can't just say, "Oh, hey, one of these stock prices goes up. Let me go buy it in the past so I can make money." No, we can't do that. Okay? So I'll announce everybody's moving to year two. Notice year two does not have any stock prices. Up on the board, I'm going to have our presentation with the stock prices. I will also give you some news as to what happened in year two. Let's say that Kroger's revenue goes up. How much money they're making? So now their stock price is forty-two dollars. It used to be forty. Okay, I own eight of those, so my value just went up. Okay, so let's just say I sold it all. Well, I bought it at $320, and now it's worth $336. So I just made money off of that transaction. But maybe, you know, I don't want to sell my, my Kroger because I think it's going to go up anymore. Let's say buy eight more. So even though I'm spending my cash, I now own 16 of it. So if it keeps going up, I'm going to make more and more money. But let's say I got some bad news about Google okay let's say that YouTube goes down for a whole day I don't think that'll ever happen obviously I love YouTube because there's videos on YouTube but let's say Google goes down for uh, for a bit okay so their price was 715 now it's worth 700 well I own six of those so I just lost a good hunk of money because Google went down that's the stock market I want to say which ones are going up and which ones are going down again we're using that word analyze we're taking in all the factors here and saying oh Google's went down but you know I think that they're gonna get their stuff together and they're going to be able to uh, create some cool products in the future they have some cool robotic stuff going on that I'm looking forward to okay I'm going to keep going along as we go through the years. This is really going to matter the time of our class. Maybe we only get to year six, and then we'll skip to the last year. The last year, then, we really want to see our net worth go up. So down here, then, I'll sell off all of my stocks on my last year. We'll get the stock price here. 
once I enter in the stock price and I sell them all off, okay, it'll calculate my net worth. Or I can keep it if I wanted to, um, but I would like to have all the cash at the end of the game, imaginary cash that is. Okay, so my net worth right now is just how much cash I have because I haven't entered in the stock prices. But if I put in all of my stock prices right here, it'll calculate how much all my stocks are worth plus my cash and give me this nice formula. Look at this nice formula bar right here. I have all this information going in and saying how much cash plus all of my stocks, what they're worth, and then it adds it all for me. This number hopefully by the end of the game, the end of the last year, will be more than $10,000 because I started with $10,000. If it's less than $10,000, obviously I've lost money. That's not good at all. After playing for years, I want to make money, not lose it. But maybe it's $11,000 and over 10 years I've made oh, $1,000. Uh, moderate returns. I really want that to go up a lot. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and get to our information about our stocks. Okay, this is what we call our prospectus. Okay, and all this is from wikiinvest.com. You can go and read the full prospectus on wikiinvest.com if you want to. Okay, so we have our companies. These are all large companies. I'm going to run through them real quick. Hopefully, again, you know all 10 of these companies. They are very large, popular companies. So Kroger is a very large grocery store chain. They own many different brands across the country. Um, Google obviously is a very large tech company, but they do a lot of different things besides just you know Google.com. They do Gmail, they do AdSense, they do Chrome, um, they also own YouTube. Tesla is an uh, electric car company that's making some cool new things. Um, Apple obviously is a very large company, iPhone, iPad, and Macs everything in the Mac family. Okay, and we have Walmart. Everybody knows Walmart retail chain, and they uh, cater to uh, lower prices. Um, then we have Sony. Sony is obviously a large company that does a lot with like uh, video games, you know, all the PlayStation stuff. Um, they also make movies and computers and stuff like that too. Okay. McDonald's, everybody knows McDonald's. They're on like every corner it seems like. Okay, so everybody knows that. Pepsi, everybody knows the Pepsi brand, but do you know that PepsiCo also owns a lot of different things? They are a well-known brand's Besides just Pepsi, they also own Frito-Lay, Tropicana, Gatorade, Quaker Oats. They own a lot of different things, and they are sold all around the world, actually. Um, so it's a very national or international company. Ford, obviously everybody knows Ford companies. Um, have had a rough few years here. Um, that's why their stock is pretty cheap. We'll see if they can go up and make lots of money. Again, Ford's stock is very cheap, so if it goes up even a dollar, and you own, say, 100 shares of it, you could make money really quick. But what if it goes up? two dollars you can make money very very quickly off of it target um target's very popular brand obviously does a lot in retail uh as they sell things a little bit more high end than uh walmart does so here are year one prices again these are automatically entered in for you but i'm just putting this up here as an example of how you could enter in for our year two so you'd look up here and say oh hey kroger remember our year two price was 42 dollars so let's say that's 42 dollars then um here i would enter that in if then google we said imaginary numbers for year two was 700 dollars it would say 700 here you enter it into your spreadsheet so at the end of every year you move on to the next year you write down all the numbers here your net worth will calculate out and you'll know what to buy and sell so we're going to go ahead and get started. If you have any questions about this, you can refer to the spreadsheet um, on your computer that you have open now through, um, through our classroom site. We also uh, will have this video on here so you can go back and you can view any of the information there. Otherwise, we're going to get to it. We're going to start having fun. Hopefully, everybody makes some money.